people who ran into the weird kid from school years later, how did he or she turn out? He is so much happier than he was in high school where people would physically assault him, harass him and mock him. He has autism and is obsessed with Batman and sharks. The last time I saw him was two years ago when I was walking around my friend's college and he was delighted to see me and even remembered my name where we caught up and he told me all about how he had been on vacation and got to go out on a boat and see sharks. I mean Batman and sharks are both pretty fucking rad. I've told this before, but my dad told me about a kid he went to high school with who used to sit in the back of the class mumbling and giggling to himself all the time. Occasionally he'd pick his nose and eat the results. Despite this, my dad said, he was apparently really smart and got all as. He told me the guy's name, and since it was pretty distinctive, I looked him up online. He was a federal appeals court judge. Now he giggles to himself and eats his boogers while going through the appeal matters and making shit ton of money. Such a good life. He renamed himself Green Dragon of the West. He's a network engineer, so okay I guess. The Green Dragon of the West rules over its copper wiring hoard. He discovered that he was better at interacting with computers than with people and became a software engineer. You just described my husband. He just described many husbands. He is still in jail for taking a prostitute out to the woods behind his parents' house and trying to kill her. He left her for dead but she came to after he left and got the hell out of there. There was this very weird kid who was known for masturbating in class in 8th grade and ended up dropping out of school. Last year I see on the news that he robbed a bank. He slid a note saying, I have a gun, give me all of your money. And the bank teller handed him a fuck ton of one dollar and five dollar bills to stall while police showed up. He left before police arrived but they found him shortly after, because he left his entire handprint on the glass door when he pushed it open on his way out. Calmed down significantly and is happily married now. He acted out in school because he was being abused by his foster parents at home. Nobody knew at the time. They never do. This is why I get pissed when people fuck with weird people. You have no fucking clue why they're like that. There was a girl at my school who I will call Melanie. Melanie was easily the most socially awkward unaware girl I've ever met. Like masturbating at school awkward, picking her nose and eating it publicly awkward. By the end of high school, she had figured out how to not do these insane things that made people stare and laugh at her. But needless to say, she had a rough go. But she was also one of those people who was a really nice, genuine person. I moved away after college and didn't have FB until at least 10 years after graduation, so I had no idea what most of my classmates were doing. Maybe five years ago, I spotted her and friend her. She ended up marrying this guy who went to our school and was maybe three years older than us. I knew him from work and he asked me out at one point. He was also really, really nice, but super nerdy and socially awkward. I didn't think about it at the time. But when I saw she married him, I was like, Oh my god, they're perfect for each other. They moved to a state that has a bunch of mountains and they don't have any children. So they're always posting all these amazing hiking and rock climbing adventures they're doing together. They go to all kinds of festivals together. Renaissance, I think Star Trek, horror, etc. They look super happy and I talked to her grandma last year, who told me they're happy as clams. I'm just so happy for her. Pretty sure I was the weird kid, but runner-up was a very nice but shy girl who immigrated from China and loved computers but was incredibly meek a conversation was like prying teeth, would only make strange noises in class, etc. And frankly in hindsight what little she said at the time makes me realize now she was in an emotionally abusive household. Example, she had some small role in a school play in middle school. I was happy for her when I saw that her mom came as she said she doubted her mom would come. I asked afterwards and she said her mom said she looked like a sack of dog bones on the stage during her part. I legit did not know what to say when she said stuff like that because I was a kid myself. Fortunately I can say I know how she turned out and it's a happy ending. We went to the same college and she was originally signed up for pre-med because even though this gal was a computer whiz, her mom insisted she had to be a doctor. Within a year though she rebelled against everything and became a computer science major, the horror. 
and became a known source of advice for other kids of Asian descent in particular seeking to stand up to their parents' expectations. She's now a test engineer working for a household name computing company and posts pictures of international travel and various geeky hobbies. So I guess she was great once she could find herself, and most of the weirdness was imposed upon her. He committed suicide before it ever got to years later. Just a few years after high school, I was glad we had been friendly, and I had never been unkind to him. His family situation was horrendous, and he couldn't escape the damage. This is the case with greater than 95% of weird kids. Horrible family home life that left them incapable of prospering in society. Their brains, organisms, were primed for fear, thus survival, not a purposeful existence in society. It's funny how it's so obvious years later, but parents can't seem to pass on that wisdom to their kids to treat the weird kids with kindness. You may be their only source and array of hope for them that there's more to life than the horrors they suffered at the hands of those who were supposed to protect, love, and nurture them. Edit, just want to say to everyone, you can get better. It's a process so it takes time. Seek out trauma therapy. You'll thank yourself. I wouldn't say I ran into him, but I occasionally drive past the penny kid walking around slumped in a leather jacket and greasy hair on a hot summer day. I really have no idea what he's doing with his life, but he still seems pretty weird. Back in high school, he was always collecting change that he'd find on the ground and I found out later he actually saved up $500 or so and donated it to charity. I thought a lot differently about him once I found out. Still seems about the same. Natural dislike to anyone who tries to talk to him. Assumes everyone is out to get him. He's also put on about 100 pounds and he wasn't a small guy to begin with. He's a convicted rapist and is on the registry for life. He lives in a halfway house and is pretty fucked up in general. There was a weird kid in my middle school who would eat hand sanitizer, cut his fingers and write 666 on the classroom walls with his blood and other creepy things. Apparently, he had a crush on me and asked me to the 8th grade prom but I declined. Fast forward to the last day of middle school, I receive a message from him on Facebook saying he had a huge crush on me and that he would kill himself if I didn't feel the same. I told him that despite what he had just sent me, I wasn't interested. A few months later we start high school, but since there's four high schools in my area, a lot of us were scattered around and we ended up going to different schools. I never saw him again, but through Facebook I saw that he started a relationship with a girl that also attended our middle school. He looked really happy, and honestly I was happy for him. He seemed to have grown out of that weird middle school stage and genuinely seemed like a great guy. Around two years later, I was a junior in high school. I go to a local supermarket and just mind my business. The next day I receive a message from him on Facebook saying he was working at the supermarket and happened to see me. I messaged him back and apologized for not seeing him and saying hi. He then proceeded to apologize for all the weird middle school stuff and that message he had sent me on the last day of 8th grade. I told him all was fine and we left it at that. Now, by the looks of Facebook, he's a workout fanatic and his body has changed a lot. He also seems to be going to college and spends a lot of time with his family. I'm glad he's doing fine. Girl in high school used to be really to herself super into anime, just assumed she was shy so I'd make a point to have small chats with her every day until one day she said her pillow wasn't fucking her right. Apparently her pillow had conscience, and she used it to masturbate, graduated a few months later. Fast forward to about three months ago, I'm making coffee at a cafe when said girl walks up to me. She's super polite and bubbly but as I ask how her day is going she tells me the demon that had raped her was actually her guardian angel and she needed him around or something. Haven't seen her since. This was a wild ride. Imagine how the pillow felt. I saw her at a con I was working, where she came up to my guest and was telling him about her book that she hadn't started writing but was due the next day and still had 10,000 words left to write. She also kept looking at her phone and dramatically sighing and saying things about how she wished her publisher would leave her alone so still making up things to try and make herself look better. It's only a couple years out of high school school at this point, but one of my good friends is high-functioning autistic, and thus was considered very weird in high school. 
He's found a job stocking the refrigerators at a local supermarket and is enjoying that from what he tells me. He's taking classes on and off at a local university but doesn't know what he wants to go into. He's also getting into writing fan fiction and is continuing his passion for Lego. On a side note, his creations in Lego are super impressive, especially considering his limited resources. Do you have a similar story? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.